Oh. Well, don't put, it's hitting the, the, oh no, it's not. We have different phones. You just saw all of that live. Hello? Oh, look at us matchy matchy. We were wearing the same thing yesterday and you said the same thing. Remember that? We really don't change our clothes, <laughs> do we? Well, what's up guys? Hello everyone. Sunday. Whew. How are you guys doing so far in the new year with your uh, resolutions Whatever and whatnot? Whatever they may be. I'm seven for seven so far in my X effect thing that we're doing. I still have to read today though. So he's not seven for seven? Yay, landscape. Yeah, if you guys saw, we started this for like 10 seconds and it was portrait mode. Hello from Mauritius. That sounds Just like a small island. Just watching the chocolate bar video. That is legit a delicious chocolate bar. You Whoa, I think this is the most people we've ever had. 550. Dang. Why? I think because New Year's, there's a lot of new what are newbies we doing, around. Right? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to get notifications for when we go live, click the bell. It's somewhere on our page, it's like a notification bell. Man, I've never seen the comments go this fast. Dang. I've not started tracking macros, so I have not done the resolution. Oh, you got to get on that. It's cool. It's still early. No, no, no. Don't give yourself ways out. You got you to gotta get on it. I'm going to make the damn bars. Yeah, you are. Hello from Boring, Pennsylvania. We lived in Boring, Pennsylvania. We lived in hot, poppin' ass Philly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I can't say the A word. Arse. Keto worst diet is vegan propaganda. Yeah, so a few of you, I guess it's not a huge deal, but there's like a US news report that ranked the keto diet the 42nd out of 42 diets. And we were reading through it just to kind of see where they're coming from and see if they had some reasonable points. You can just search like US News uh, diets ranked 2018 or something. And basically, it's just a poll of like nutritionists and stuff. And it's of course they're gonna rank keto diet near the bottom because the diets they're ranking near the top are all the ones that just fit into like the FDA guidelines. Like, you know, yeah. the 12 servings of whole grains. And someone made an interesting thought and said, um, I wonder who paid for that. So um, I didn't look to see like who paid for the list, but someone said it. I don't know. I don't want to just say propaganda. I'm not sure who paid for the list, but some of the diets I had ahead of keto were just crazy. Like uh, Nutrisystem, the abs the fast diet. fast diet. What's the fast diet? I think the fast diet is actually like a reasonable one. I think it has to do with some fasting and stuff. Oh, I'm thinking like lose weight fast. <laughs> But there is a bunch of crazy ones. Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, all those which like are just crazy, like proven to not like work as well. Like the Dunkin' Donuts fast <laughs> diet. Oh, Dr. Berg made a video about it today. I didn't see that one. Nice. Well, Honestly, there's so many people making videos now, it's hard for me to keep up. Nutrisystem. My dad did Nutrisystem, did not lose weight. <laughs> Nutrisystem's a funny one. It's, it's gross. We remember I brought home one of the meals my dad gave me from yeah. his Nutrisystem. It wasn't the worst, but it was bad. We tried it on one of our live streams, like when we were first starting out, and we had like yeah. a thousand subscribers. It was a ch chicken filled with like broccoli and cheese. It's just gross. Another thing is every Tuesday for the first three and a half months of this year, we're gonna have a vlog video, which is about us doing our cut. And if you don't know, that's like basically like a thing bodybuilders do to cut before a contest to get well, like we're not contesting yeah we're, i might do a contest matt That's might do a contest I, i'm not gonna win it's just gonna be like to show up and have a goal but um we're gonna post that on tuesday and it's it's pretty tough so far we're finding we've been doing it for a week yeah and we'll keep you updated we'll show body transformations measurements weight everything so you guys can stay in the loop I'm already feeling like a little bit down from it. The uh, deficits Calorie deficit. catching up. Yeah. When can we eat keto snacks? I mean, which time? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much about the time. Just like to keep it super simple, just eat 20 net carbs or less on the day. So however that fits into your... If your... smaller meals work for you and they're like more like snacks, that that's fine. Um, and if bigger one meal a day, two meal a day works, then you do that. Hey, Pharma Mima. I mean, I definitely would have to say keto diets, people are coming around to what's up with just the general, like low fat is bad. You don't even have to do keto diet, but just like the fear of fat and the high carb, like high processed carbs, that's what's bad. Like keto is probably best, but 
not everyone's gonna get all the way there. Just, you know, eating more fat, eating less processed carbs is good. What else we got? Someone said Dr. Oz is gonna have a... Uh... Dr. Oz is very much against the keto diet. Oh, is he? Sure. Dr. Oz is very much for whatever he can sell. What kind of magnesium supplements do you recommend? We have been getting uh, chelated magnesium glycinate. I have done a lot of research and I think that's the best. You can also get magnesium citrate is like a runner up to that. But I think you wanna get the magnesium glycinate. I made your fudgy brownies, they were amazing. Is 35 grams of net carbs of a day bad? Um, it's not bad. No. You're just not going to be in ketosis. And I would say you'll run into some energy problems when you're doing that because you're not going to be running on ketones and you're not giving your body very much glucose. So it's would you say like you're not going to be in ketosis? Some people... 35 nut carbs? Eh, probably Some people not. can do... I mean, 50 total could also be 35 net, right? So if you're pretty active, then maybe. But. I think it's possible to be in ketosis, but you're not going to feel optimal, as Matt said. We find lower carb just makes us feel more focused and energized. Can't find a sausage that doesn't have dextrose. Is that okay? Yeah, it's pretty it's accounted for. much impossible to find a sausage that doesn't have dextrose. There's a few. There's like Applegate Naturals doesn't have it. But we eat sausage with dextrose in it. It's all accounted for in the carbs. So most sausages are like one or two grams of carbs per link. Um... Hmm. Just watched the new chocolate bar video. Can adding berries to kale shake knock you out of ketosis? Uh, it depends on how much you use. Berries can be keto friendly if you eat them in extreme moderation. It's a very small amount. It does have fruit dust in it though. Uh, I think that's berries. That's the downside to fruits. Yeah, berries plus kale plus what else are you put in the shake? I think you're gonna be starting to climb up in the carb count there. You just then you just want like MCT oil. You just want like fat. I heard Healthful Pursuit is going to be on live with she's Kelly. She's not, though. I told you. Oh, she's not? No, she hurt herself. Well, it remains to be seen. Is she 100% not? She made a story about oh, it. man. That would have been great. I, I know. I was super bummed when I... Cause she, but she's really upset, too. Yeah. She um. What she, happened to her? She made an Instagram story, so I'm not, like, revealing anything. Uh, but she... Had to go to the hospital. I think she, like, hurt her neck. And so she's deciding... Or, yeah, I think she's maybe she can't fly or something. She's deciding to just Dang. not do it. Um, she's not doing well, though, so hopefully yeah. she's doing better. Thoughts and prayers. What's your take on moderate versus high protein if you're strength training and or cutting? I think cutting is when you would want to skew a little bit higher on the protein. Uh, as far as building muscle, I don't think more protein is really advantageous to building muscle. I think it's just, you know, you hit your required amount and anything over that is not really necessary. And we've been doing more lower protein. Like right now we're doing, I think it's about 18% calories from protein, right? Something like that, mm -hmm. like 20%. Feeling good. Daily habits are going well. I'm reading and stretching as scheduled. And we're actually playing a lot more with Julius, which is good for him. We've made it a point. Do you have an app that you like to track? We use the free version of my fitness pal. Um, you really rush through your words sometimes. I know, and that's why I fumble <laughs> over them. Um, I have helps with building muscle. H I have helps. Human, intermittent fasting. Oh, yeah, intermittent fasting, sorry. Human growth hormone builds. Yeah. Goes up. I think, so, I, it does, it, there's a lot of studies that say HGH goes up when, I think it's human growth factor it goes up when you're doing intermittent fasting. I think the extent is overblown, like 2000% gets thrown around a lot. I don't think that's factual. Nothing ever worked for me till keto. Hi, Queen Janine. Who's Queen Janine? We exchanged emails. She's doing our prep. Oh, sweet. How's the cut going, Brandon? Thank you for asking. It's going okay. It's going well. We're pushing ourselves in the gym like hardcore. We just did the Stairmaster yesterday. Day before? Yesterday. It was really tough. Yeah, ten, I did 10 minutes at speed 10, but then I went on Instagram and I saw a bunch of girls doing like speed 12. Well, she started at speed 10. Oh, she did? Okay. Yeah. She's seven weeks into prep. Talking about crystal love. Keto gave me diabetes. Now I went vegan and my diabetic went away. Oh, that's incredible. I don't believe that for a second, but if it happened. Will the Adderall feeling go away? Yeah, for me yeah. it has. You just, or maybe you just get used to it and you take it for granted. 
I tried your butter chicken last weekend, so happy. Yay! A lot of people have been making that lately. Um, oh, you love the meal plan. Ooh. Do you ever miss eating fruit? I think I, when I see like people on TV shows biting into like crisp apples, I'm just like, oh, that looks good. But other than that, I don't even think about fruit, do you? No. I just, like, for me, I'm just like, why do I like fruit? Oh, it's because it's just sugar, basically. And yeah, it's, like, it's delicious. There's some micronutrients in it, but it's mainly just because it's super sweet and sugary. But when I had the option, when I was, like, full carb, I would never eat fruit. I would get fruit. Oh, I used to always eat fruit. I would get fruit because I thought I, you know, I would eat it and then it would go bad. Will I get fat if I stop keto? Well, it mainly depends about where your calories are going. Like, if you stop keto and you eat a lot more calories, which generally tends to happen then you could gain some weight you'll gain some water weight right away though if you uh just start eating carbs again if you yeah definitely water weight but it also depends on what carbs you're eating if you start you know start including like slower digesting carbs you might have a better time i feel like keeping it off as opposed to like donuts right and cookies and stuff maybe i think for me i would i'm really sensitive to like putting on weight is a diet still keto if it is low fat and low carb? Well, you'll probably be in ketosis, but it's not sustainable. You won't feel good. And it's, yeah, it's not really a good diet. Did you see Keto Karma on Megyn Kelly? I didn't actually watch it. You watched it, right? No, I didn't watch it. I didn't know Megyn Kelly was a show, to be honest. Is that, like, national or is that, like, just where she's from? But, it seemed like it was national. But I saw um, I saw it on IG and I saw, like, parts of her talking um, and the nutritionist, which I thought was nonsense. Yeah, low-fat, low-carb is called starvation. That's kind of true. But Keto Karma did well. It's, I, the nutritionist, I don't want my words to get skewed. NBC Morning Show? That's oh, I that's cool. I've never heard of her. I feel like I, I knew all the shows. I don't even know who's on Kelly, with Kelly right now. Because it used to be Kelly and Michael. I love Michael. Do you meal plan or go with what you're feeling like that day? I think having a little bit of meal plan ready with... I like just having a little bit of meal plan and then also some flexibility yeah. to where I can like add in a few things as I see fit. Yeah. But at least having one thing in the fridge meal prep that I know is going to be like, you know, a thousand calories worth, like half my daily calories is good. When should you recalculate after losing weight? Depends how big you are to start. So like if you have 200 pounds to lose, maybe every 10 pounds. If you have 50 pounds to lose, then maybe like every five pounds. Um... I know keto works, but I'm struggling to stick with it. Oh. Man, we're getting so many no, comments. Down, down. Oh, it's down? Where'd it go? Man, I can't find it now. It's like it got deleted. Lost 75 pounds since keto, since July, and keto clean eating, clean eating didn't work. Don't work out, just active. Oh, that's good. Yeah, a lot of people have success without working out. It's not mandatory. It just makes us feel really good. Can I subtract erythritol from carb count? Yes. yes. Why? Because it's a sugar alcohol, it doesn't really impact your body right. the same way carbs it's not do. Un, it's undigested. It goes like kind of right through you. Keto doesn't lie in anyone's pockets. That's why. That's also true. Yeah, it was actually funny because like Paleo and Whole30 were at the bottom of the list, which are just objectively good diets. Like you right. can't, you can't critique them. They're just you know eat natural whole foods, and it's like oh that's number thirty nine on the list. The Weight Watchers program's ahead of it. It's just nuts. Um. Have you experienced thinning hair? I personally have not. Um, Matt, I thought you'd experienced a little, like no, around here. That's just that's just me getting old and my entire family is like going bald. I've had that for a while though. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be bald in a few years. You know that, right? Not looking forward to it. If you stop keto and then start again, would you get the keto flu? So it depends on how far you go off keto and how long you had been on keto prior to stopping. So someone like us might not experience it because it's been two plus years. I've, I actually have experienced the uh, keto flu for like a day mm -hmm. from going uh, um, off. But Matt doesn't have any issues going right back and not forth, really. right? Yeah. When I hit my goal weight, how do I stay keto? You just keep eating keto foods. You can um, play around with your macros more you, though and see what your maintenance is. I think you can get away with a pretty decent surplus for a while. And like, 
So like what we do, we're pretty much at our goal weights per se. You can do keto, you know, be pretty strict about it for like a week and then once a week or once every two weeks, we just have like a calorie surplus day. Mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't really impact you much. Mm -hmm. um, someone asked a good question. Do you eat, uh, do you eat your meals um, midday on purpose right after your coffee? And so we actually don't eat, do intermittent fasting and start our eating window at 12 anymore. We eat right when we wake up in the morning, generally within an hour's time, mm -hmm. right? Um, along with our bulletproof coffee or we'll have that first. Um, and that's helped us get ahead of the hunger. And um, we just, we find that that works better for our bodies. Was watching your zero carb experiment, has your opinion changed since then? Yes, it has. We're actually very pro zero carb. Yeah. That's what we do most of the time. We do like a modified version of it. We add a little like spinach, maybe some nuts and stuff, a uh, little broccoli, but just like not a huge mass of it. And we have a podcast today, which is one of the best zero carbers out there. It's Amber O'Hearn. So good. If you guys don't know, we have a podcast. It's called Keto for Normies. It's weekly, and we interview people. Oh, yeah, Keto for Normies. Uh, Amber O'Hearn is re a really good interview. It came out today. Our first cut vlog didn't come out. It comes out Tuesday. Tuesday. So be on the lookout. When you say calorie surplus day, does that mean do you eat more carbs? No. no. Keto, keto caloric surplus. Mm -hmm. So just keto foods, low carb still. What time do you stop eating if you eat breakfast? We usually stop six. Six, six is our cutoff. But all, like, you don't have to take what we do. And, no. And it's a good thing maybe, yeah, you can try what we do, but this is just what we found works for us. It doesn't mm -hmm. work for everyone. A lot of people are wake up and they're not hungry, so they do like noon to eight intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. You can not do intermittent fasting at all, which is totally fine. Don't feel like you have to do that. Just experiment with meal times. That's like the easiest thing to change that will have like a big impact on your food intake. No, we do not do cheat days, someone asked. No. Um, how long does it take to get back to ketosis after a, after a cheat meal? Depends uh, on the cheat meal. Yeah. But like if you go just crazy hard with the cheat meal, you're talking It'll be like longer. two or three days probably. And, and your best bet if that happens is to just Put it in the past and get right back on track don't do any like crazy long fasts and like something that'll just throw you off even more um yeah you should get the zip fizz on sale at costco we take that intro workout and it's a it has a ton of potassium in it did keto savage put you guys on a strict meal plan or only a calorie deficit he gave us the macros we're developing Creating the meal plan for ourselves yeah um Uh, 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 quest bar is not good. They're like, no, they're not part of a good Optimal. diet. But if you're like on the go a lot and you're just getting into keto, they're a good, better alternative to like other protein bars. They're fine. Like you can have one a day or so. I wouldn't have one a day. Yeah. I would have one, one every couple of days. It shouldn't throw you off too much. I think a long fast after a cheat is fine but only if that's something you can continue healthfully. So that's that's my biggest issue with someone doing that. Maybe it's not coming from like the right motivation. Like it could be unhealthy. Like if, um, I, I mean, I've seen it. People will cheat and then they'll do a two day fast and they'll cheat again, they'll do a two day fast and they'll just try to compensate for cheating. Yeah. And that's not the right mindset because it's more of a long term thing. But yeah, if you can keep it solitary and that works for you and it makes you feel good, then go for it. Do smoothies change the fiber of leafy vegetables? No. Keto OS, anything like that do you support? No, we hate Keto OS. Um, but exogenous ketones, if you're talking about those, there is, there's a couple brands that we find that are good companies. Yeah. So if you want to buy them, um, Perfect Keto and then Keto Logic, we've had both of theirs. They're both similarly priced. Yeah. It's about $3 per serving, where Keto OS is $6 per serving. Um, I went off the rails this Christmas, Christmas I felt like crap. Yeah, um, and that happens and it kind of reminds you like how great keto is. So it's not a bad thing, it happens. Oh, someone liked today's podcast, sweet. Yay, a Amber lot of people Hearn. have been, uh, after our Sean Baker podcast, they've been getting interested in it. How do you get enough leafies at zero carb? You don't get any leafies, <laughs> that's the you whole thing. Yeah, you don't really need leafies because you can get all your nutrition from meats. 
Yeah, do a little research if you're skeptical of the zero carb thing. Amber O'Hearn's a really good resource for it. Um, probably not for everyone. It's kind of, you know, it's a pretty vast departure from the norm. I've been wondering about doing zero carb. Yeah, check it. We have a couple good podcasts on it. There's Sean Baker and there's Amber O'Hearn. And we got a few more coming, I think. Um, what do you think about the dash? I don't know what the dash, I know kind of what it is, but, oh, the dash, yeah, that's the, the, the U.S. news report. I don't um, know exactly what the dash diet is. I have to look that up again. Yeah, me either. That's one of the ones I made fun of in our IG story, because it just sounds... It's similar to, I think it's not that far, it's like kind of low carb, I think. Oh, okay, maybe. Then that's, yeah, I'd have to look into it. If you eat all meat, don't you get too much protein? Well, you can add a little fat to it, and if you get the right types of meats, no, because like a good ribeye is about 70% calories from fat. And then 80-20 ground beef is an amazing option. Yeah, that is about, that's like almost 70% calories from fat. And then like fat. ground sausage is usually more fat than protein. And I, I personally add a substantial amount of fat when I'm doing moderate protein high fat. Yeah. So I do like bulletproof bo um, chicken broth at, the, at night to get some fat in. How does uh, zero carb compare budget wise to normal keto? See, that's the thing. It actually is compares favorably because what is the most high cost, low calorie foods you can eat is vegetables. Like spinach, it's like 20 calories for a dollar. Um, so it's a, you can get by with like $15 a day probably. And then we're also not doing all those processed snacks that a lot of people do which is saving you money too. Like Quest Bars are like two fifty at least, right? Yeah, I think they're usually like two ninety nine. Yeah, two eighty nine, I think. So that's expensive for only hundred and ninety calories, three bucks. What are your favorite cuts of meats from Butcher Box? Um, ribeye is the best. The top the sirloin. King. It's not the best cut, but it, they have really good top sirloin. That one surprised me the most, and the filet mignon obviously is the best. And you must cook everything medium rare at the very least. So someone's asking about vitamin C scurvy. on scurvy. <laughs> so there's people that have been doing this for 20 years consecutively, and uh, I don't know exactly, but apparently um, vitamin C and glucose have like the same transporters in your body. So, so they fight. They basically. compete for one another. So when you don't have glucose, then you don't need as much vitamin C. And then also, if you listen to today's podcast, or if you didn't, um, Amber O'Hearn talks about how Meat, red meat does have vitamin C in it, but the USDA just used like the marker indicating that they're not, they didn't test for it at all, so they just put zero, which is ridiculous because why wouldn't you test for it? So red meats do have vitamin C. How's my cryptocurrency channel? It's not really off the ground I'm yet. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, but I don't want to nag, so it's like a tough balance. I want him to start. Matt is the worst. He looks high even when he wakes up. Yeah, People I, are just so nice. I always look high. Yeah, he does. When I first met him, too, at our first date, I was like, oh. Were you? Yeah, because your eyes. But then I learned that that's just how he is. <laughs> I felt great about 14 carbs a day. Yeah, I think... That's good. Yeah, we're doing that's 10, low, though. 10 total right now. Yeah. When are you going to Steam It? We are on Steam It. Yeah, we're on Steam It. Go check it out. What's AGG saying over here? I'm kind of emboldened by poor review of keto diet. Means we are probably in the right camp. Yeah, emboldened? I think Emboldened? So. I've never heard that word. I've heard it, but I've never like used it. I don't know. Yeah, Steemit is a social media platform built on blockchain. It's peer-to-peer, -peer, so like when you guys are watching the videos, those are actually hosted by me. It's not like hosted by- Which is cool. A third party, yeah. So like you're using Matt's browser, is that what it is? Yeah, I keep the browser open and it seeds the video. Kind of like uTorrent, if you remember uTorrent, where like everyone's seeding the video and then you can download it. Post the link for Steemit, the search function does not find you. Yes, yeah, Steemit yeah, needs people to work have said on their that. Steam, It's in beta still, so. So we should just post it more places, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the description of every video. If you go to any of our intro series videos, it's it in the description. It has it, yeah. After my first meal during IF, should I still eat during my eating window even when I'm not hungry? Depends on your goals. Yeah. If you're trying to lose weight, probably don't eat when you're not hungry. If you are trying to maintain then do eat when you're not hungry. But do your best to hit your protein goal because you don't want to be losing muscle along with that fat. Um, and then fat is, you know, it's a lover. What do y'all think of Quest chips? Uh, they taste like cardboard to me. 
They're not that good, but if you're really missing chips, they're a decent option. Are they though? I'd rather just have cucumber, just crunchier. Is there any good keto chocolate? There's actually a bunch of good ones. There's uh, Coco Polo, there's Lily's. There's, there's the ones we just made today on yeah. our blog. Check out our, the YouTube video we posted like two hours ago. Cardio before, after, or not at all when lifting? Us, personally, we're doing it after. We do a little warm up on the treadmill five minutes, but then we do cardio after. After. Um, but it's up to you if you want to do it or not. It sucks. Does the time of your eating window matter? I think it matters a little bit just by the hormones in your body. That's one reason you could maybe do it in the morning because the rise in cortisol is stopped by eating fat. a meal. And protein. Yeah, I don't fat think just protein. fat will stop it. Yeah, fat and protein. You're yeah. right. But, uh, you know, just play around with that. See what works best for you. Can you do another day of keto living? Yes, coming Tuesday. Keto living. I ordered my candy bar mold today so I can make it. Yay! Um, oh, you gave me a big vote on the last Steam It What vote. does that mean? That's exciting. I don't know much about Steam It. What is a big vote? So Steam It, I think like thumbs up and everything is like a little, a micro transaction of digital currency. Like when you thumbs up our video, we get a, a like 0 0.001 of a cent or something. I don't fully know. Heard anything from Dr. Berg regarding xylitol on your blood sugar test? Um, so I've seen the recipes he uses xylitol in and he uses a very minimal amount. It'll be like one to two tablespoons, I think. Right? And yeah. I, he doesn't use a ton so um, if that's his option, then that's that's cool. Just he, I'm sure he knows. I miss flavored oatmeal. Any ideas? You can try our overnight hemp oatmeal. It is really good. A lot of people like it. Yeah. Have you guys made white chocolate yet? No, we nope. haven't. Hot cross buns. You made those once, didn't you? What are hot cross buns? I thought you made them before in Philadelphia. No? Like cinnamon buns? Yeah. It's kind of like a cinnamon bun, but it's not a cinnamon roll. I don't know what that is. You made them before. Maybe. I've made a lot, but I don't feel like they're good enough for the vlog. Yeah, we're reaching out to Dave Feldman. We want to get him on our podcast ASAP. And he, you can look him up on YouTube. He has a lot of good cholesterol uh, talk. Can you smoke the hemp oatmeal? <laughs> hemp equals non-fun weed. That's funny. I don't really understand MCT oil. Can you explain one day, like a full video or even a summary now? Yeah. MCT oil is the fat that is the Derived. quickest conver converted into ketones in your body. So like a lot of foods like butter, coconut oil, they have a percentage of MCT, but MCT oil is just extracted from those to be 100% MCT. So you get a boost of energy um, it can't be stored as body fat. There's a lot of benefits to it, but there's also a lot of drawbacks, like digestively it goes through you pretty quickly. That's kind of the trade-off. Worth trying. Um, if you are like fat adapted, it does give you a pretty decent boost in energy. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of MCT oil. I don't use it at all whatsoever. I don't find it necessary. Do you eat 85 or 90% chocolate containing cane sugar? No, we... The baker, the dark chocolate we use is one hundred percent cacao. Yeah, we either eat the one hundred percent or we get the the sugar alcohol sweetened ones with like erythritol and stevia. Do you struggle to keep fat high and your protein low when you're just starting out? Yeah, yeah it's tough. That could be tough. Try like bulletproof coffee and fat bombs. That helps. It's a spiced bun usually made for Easter. I made that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I looked into the Sanctus Nutrition pre-workout. It is a really good pre-workout. I would probably buy that if I didn't just make my own. It's basically the one similar to what we make, but I think it has like a couple other cool things in it. What do you think of nutritional yeast? It's okay. It's good for like B vitamins. Um, we used, used to, to put it on salads. We used to take it a lot more. I don't take it as much anymore. We've used to we've used it for breading too. It's a good option. Yeah. Uh, I want to hear about the topic in the title. So oh. there, there was an article. Yeah, we talked about this already. But it was an article by US News ranking the top 42 diets and the keto diet was number 42. And the way they did the, the article was by polling nutritionists and health experts, which, you know, when you pull nutritionists and health experts, all the nutritionists and health experts are people that abide by the FDA, uh, the 12, whole 12 servings of whole grains. They're not 
stepping Strain. out of the box. Like yeah. the whole diet or like the whole nutrition and doctor medical industry is like just staying in the narrow path. It's not like it doesn't pay to take risks and like step outside of the box. So everyone just, you know, stays down the center. Um, keto should be on number one for people overweight. Yeah, because one of the metrics they they used in determining the ranking was um, how it uh, fights against cardiovascular disease and also diabetes. Um, and keto has done profound things for people with diabetes. In fact, we have a podcast coming in two weeks with Dr. Sarah Helberg, and her mm -hmm. whole expertise is reversing type 2 diabetes using the ketogenic diet. She has, a, like, a facility and everything, so that'll be a good one. Bread and sugar are contributing to the obesity problems of the West. Yeah, so there's a lot of correlated... Of California? Of, Just kidding. <laughs> there's a lot of correlated studies, but... Um, which, you know, correlation doesn't mean causation, but when you look at the trends of like when the obesity started rising and like the change in our foods that we were eating, it's so obvious, like processed foods, decrease in meat, decrease in protein, um, decrease in fat and just increase in processed carbs. Like it's very obvious. Um, is over 30% protein too high? I... I wouldn't feel great on over 30% protein. We've done it before. We've done like 35 and we didn't feel that great. I think 30 is like the top end you'd want to go. Is Rebel Creamery, Creamery available in stores? No, I don't even know. I think they, they have a they have Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yeah. Do you crave chips and what do you make to substitute for that? Um, when I want something for dipping and chips, you can do, I, I love to do cucumber. Yeah, pork rinds is a decent sub. Zucchini. Bacon. What else we got? Kale, Kale or spinach? Uh, spinach. I like spinach just because it's a lower carb. Right, but I prefer kale deliciously. Uh. Parmesan crisps are a good chip alternative. Yes, that's true. Parm wisps too, whatever. Um... What is the impact on cholesterol and triglycerides when on the keto diet for a long time? Um, we're not health, uh, doctors or health experts, but if you look up Dave Feldman on YouTube, he has a lot of good info on cholesterol and keto. And basically like when you're losing weight or when you do a uh, drastic change in diet, you could see a rise in cholesterol, but does a rise in cholesterol mean anything? It's questionable. Does higher cholesterol mean higher risk of heart disease? I think that link is like pretty sketchy, but look into it yourself. We're just YouTube people. White wine? Sure. Yeah. yeah wine, wine is doable. Just uh, keep track. They can add uh, the carbs add up. Yeah, get a dry white wine. Can you do more Indian recipes? Yes, we can. Do you only take leucine as a pre-workout or do you take it daily? I think post-workout might be best. Is it better post-workout or pre-workout? Uh, post. You can take it daily though. Where's Julius? He's underneath us chewing a bully stick. Yeah, we gave him a bully stick so we would behave. And you get drunk faster. That is an important note to know when you're drinking on a keto diet. Collard greens? We love collard greens. Just check the carbs and pretty much anything's fine. Why did you stop eating avocados? They are really high in carb. We're doing a strict cut right now, but um, I never was I eating a avocados. ton of avocados. Matt ate one every single day, maybe even two, but I never really ate them as much. So, um, yeah, for the first week of this prep, we're doing 10 total carbs. For the first so two weeks. Two weeks, so we can't do an avocado. Yeah. Um... Starting five day fast tomorrow. I'm super pumped. Good luck. That'll be great. It's good that you're pumped because it's going to wear off in a day or two. But stay strong. What do you get past? Wait, what do you do to get past the stall after a long stretch? Like a long stall, you're saying? Yeah. Um, maybe at that point you can take a look at what you're eating, your, where your macros are at. Check like, in. Yeah, just really hone in, maybe track a couple days and see what you're actually eating don't like you know add the extra couple nuts or the bites or it adds up which famous person on low carb would you want to interview the most 
Man, I feel like Dr. Berg is like at the top of the list, and we interviewed him already. I we tried getting Dr. Asim Malotra. He didn't respond, right? Right. He would be a good one. He, yeah, he'd be incredible. Um. I feel like we can get most low carb people. Not Halle Berry. No, yeah, not Halle Berry, not LeBron not James. Not LeBron James. Um, no, Fung, we can't get them. We, we haven't even them. reached out to Dr. Fung yet, I don't think. We need to do that. I reached out to Dr. Fung no, a long time ago when we first started. But yeah, we should do it again. We should just harass. <laughs> I think uh, upcoming we're going to get Dave Feldman, as I said, and maybe a food blogger. Uh, what's her name? What's her screen name? The food blo- oh, uh, Castaway Kitchen. Castaway Kitchen. She's cool. Uh, we reached out to Thomas DeLauer, too. We didn't hear back from him. We reached out to, like, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, in your opinion, if you put a person in a blinded keto diet, would they benefit from it? What does that mean? Like, double they blind? They don't know they're in a keto diet? Double blind placebo? Yeah, of course they'd benefit from it. And they'd also notice the immediate impact if they're coming from a carb diet. Yeah. Because they feel can't, it. You can't really do you a double blind someone. placebo yeah. keto diet. Oh, yeah, we still have to get Headbanger's Kitchen on, too. Um... Vinny Totorich? I don't know no, him. Nice. You two are my fave channel for keto. Thank you. Thank you. Click the, um, the notification bell, guys, if you want to get notified when we do the YouTube streams. And we do them every Sunday. Different times, though. Sometimes we do it late at night. Today we're doing it kind of early. What is your best closest to bread recipe? So we have one, and Matt refuses to put it out. It is incredible. He... Did like 30 batches and I just ate all 30 batches. I don't think I perfected it yet. That's the thing. I mean, the first one was the best and then he just keeps messing it up. The first one was the best. You need to try that again. Oh, I love... That's the guy whose channel I just found, Scott the Trucker. He's a cool guy. He's kind of like ranty and stuff, but it's fun to listen to. I like, I like listening to people like that. We should get him on soon. Farmer Mima! How many carbs per avocado? I think it's about 12 grams total, or no, 10, 12 grams total, like 10 grams of fiber. The army green looks good on me. Thank you. Maybe she's talking to me. I'm an, I'm an no, army maybe green. Maybe she is. And I'm an army green now. Y'all going off keto in Hawaii? We don't plan on it, but, I mean, I don't plan on it, but I might, you know, take a few liberties. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't imagine, I, because I, I know for a fact I feel really crappy if I were to go off, so that would be tough because I really want to enjoy. I feel like the only times I'll go off is in, in Hawaii will be for drinking. Like, yeah, I'll I'm drink. Be drunk the entire I will vacation. drink. Uh, yeah. Um, is green tea good? Yeah. On keto? Yeah. Meh. 72 protein what do you is mean, really meh? low. It's fine. I mean, I mean it's a, if you can drink yeah. it and be fine. Does the Russell Stover kick you out of ketosis? Yeah, if you go overboard on those, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, it has a lot of maltitol. And we know you're going overboard. L-theanine with coffee more than once a day or not a good idea. Yeah, L-theanine you don't build up a tolerance to very much. You can do two a day. I would like limit it to, like I've done a 1400 milligram dose of L-theanine before bed, but that would like, that would not be good midday so and a thousand accidentally a thousand accidentally mega put a thousand in my pre-workout once but you can do like two coffees and two 200 milligram l-theanine so that should be fine how do you keep up with macros when you make dishes with recipes and sauces uh you just track everything from the get-go and like know what's going in and then you can divide it up by serving and it'll be close thoughts on creatine creatine is great it's like one of the few proven supplements to be beneficial Helps with power output, helps with building muscle. Fatigue? Muscle fatigue. If maltodol doesn't seem to upset a person's belly, is it really that bad? Yeah, it's that it's bad. bad. Don't talk yourself into it. It's, Don't eat it. It's basically as bad as sugar. We have a sweetener video that kind of goes into all that. Um, yeah, you need to do the egg roll in a bowl recipe. I know. How many carbs? Thoughts on... Oh, wait. What? No, it's just... Thoughts on BCAAs? I've heard some people say they can kick you out of ketosis. Well, why are you taking the BCAAs? If you're just, like, sipping them and you're not going to the gym or anything, they're pointless. You shouldn't be taking them. Uh, I would say... So, I remember when they first came out, they were marketed as, like, something you could take that's protein, but you can do it during a fast, which I would say that's not true. You don't want to be taking any kind of protein during a fast. 
Uh, I don't think you need them at all. What What is your need for them, I guess would be my question. We don't take them. Can they knock you out of ketosis? Probably not. I would look for... The number one selling brand is Salvation brand, and they have a lot of glutamine in there. I would look for one that doesn't have glutamine because glutamine and high doses could kick you out of ketosis. So just get the three branched chain amino acids. Y'all are my keto reality show. <laughs> That's so funny. We got that a lot during our 21 day videos. The top is cute. I was telling her that. Um, I'm embarrassed to say I got it from Abercrombie and Fitch. Why are you embarrassed to say? Because a 28 year old doesn't wear Abercrombie and Fitch, I don't think. BCAAs will spike your insulin though. I don't know that that's true. I think it depends on the BCAAs and what's in them. Yeah, if it's just the leucine, isoleucine, and valine, none if of those- If you get a good keto one. Yeah, none of those should really mess too much. Um, Protein should be at least one gram per pound of lean body weight. I disagree with that. I would say you could go down as far as 0 0.5, 0 0.6 if you wanted to. I think 0.8 is more of like the, the general regarded as good amount. I think one per pound is kind of high. Do you think strawberry Zevia tastes like red pop? That's the one we haven't tried and we want so bad. Um, never had evolution nutrition. How much does Matt weigh right now? Uh, one today I was like 194.8. We're weighing in every morning during this. Strawberry Zevia is the best. Well, we gotta find it. What do you think the age group percentage in the keto community are? I think it's high 30s is like the median age probably. A few people have asked us about licorice root. I haven't really looked into it. I'm not sure if it's keto or not. Matt's arms are looking better. I agree. Thank you. I'm six three and a half. Are you still keeping up with turmeric tea? Um, we don't drink it anymore. I haven't been drinking it lately. I've been doing more like hot chocolates and stuff like with, with just the white hot chocolate and I've been doing just normal teas. It's weird because since we started this cut, I've never drank a tea in my entire life, but I just need something to to get me through the day. So I have like two teas every day. What now. are all these numbers coming at us for? Oh, the average, average. Oh, average. I was like. <laughs> How tall are you, Mega? I'm 5'4". L-theanine brand suggestion. Just go on Amazon and get 200 milligram pills. Make sure there's no fillers in there, like rice flour or anything. But I order it from Nootropics Depot. Did you start keto because you were overweight? No, we were not overweight. In fact, I'm more, I'm bigger now, like muscular and fitter. Do you have before after pics? We're about to have some after pics in three, three months, months, hopefully. Can you elaborate why you get drunk faster on keto? Yeah, it's just because you have less water, less electrolytes, and that just like the- Nothing's blunting the actual yeah. alcohol intake and lining your stomach as much. If, so it goes right into your bloodstream and you just get drunker faster. Definitely use uh, water between drinks. Is Asian milky chai okay to have once a day? I don't Probably know what's not. in that. <laughs> I would use heavy cream or something in there. Thoughts on a good sauce to accompany Thai chicken lettuce wraps? Yeah, uh, you can make our peanut, peanut sauce. Peanut sauce on we our have food on blog. our site. Ketoconnect.net under. What? Under? Snacks? It should tongue. be under, yeah, maybe snacks. I'm not sure. Um, what spaghetti sauce do you use? Oh, we've used, if we use store-bought, it's Rouse. Are you supposed to drain ground beef when using it? No. <laughs> That's the whole point of getting like the 80-20 ground beef. You want the 20. Don't waste it. No experience with keto rash, unfortunately. Can I use 2% milk? You can, but the carbs are going to stack up pretty quick. I wouldn't use it. Are you supposed to drink? Oh, you already said that. What's wrong with turmeric tea? Nothing's Nothing. wrong. We, we just, just don't drink it anymore. Haven't been making it as much. Out of the habit. I can see why Mega failed the bar exam. Me too. Yeah, I'm not really good with words, guys. <laughs> Best brand of electrolytes water? We don't get electrolytes water. No. Nope. Oh, we drink like Powerade Zero once in a while. Are you eating dairy right now? Yeah, I'm definitely eating dairy. 
You guys match. We do match. Buy drinks. We've had them before. I don't really like them, but they're, yeah, they're sweetened with stevia, I think. So it's a good option. A lot of people do say they love the Keto for Normies solo episodes, which is good to know because maybe we'll do more of those. And then we can put more podcasts out. Yeah. Thoughts on Propel? Propel is fine. I don't like Propel. I yeah, like Powerade better. It's too sweet. Yeah. Someone told me the carbs in milk don't count because there is an enzyme that Whoa, breaks them down. Whoa, that's funny. So that's not true. nothing doesn't count. Literally everything counts. We have a, a little bit of gear you can buy. We have t-shirts and soon-to-be mugs. I forgot to put those up. Yeah, I know. Teespring. On Teespring, we have some shirts. Um, is natural Greek yogurt okay? Probably not. There's a few you can find that Kite are like Hill. five grams of carbs. But there's also Kite Hill almond yogurt, almond milk yogurt. Subtle debate. Would eating one cupcake kick you out of ketosis? I mean, unless you're super deep into ketosis, I would say yeah, because a uh, cupcake is what, like probably 50 grams of carbs at least? At least, with the icing and the cake and the sugar in the cake. Yeah. <laughs> I tried the mug cake recipe several times. And it comes out super dry? Which, Which one, one are you trying? And I think you just have to microwave it for not as long. Yeah. 4% 4 4 cottage cheese, okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't eat that. I think it's relatively high in carbs, like maybe four or five. I think full fat, any dairy is always best. Yeah. What would it take to go full-time TV show? What is that? Oh, for us? Um, I think it would be like... You know, someone approaching us and wanting us to make a show, like yeah. E. Coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is not good. It's just normal sugar, but it's a little bit lower glycemic index. But it still has fructose in it because it's sugar, so it's still going to impact you negatively. Do not be fooled by coconut. Everything bagels came out dry. Yeah, the, the bagels are going to be slightly dry. Um, that's just kind of the, the game you're running when you use, like, protein powder and baking. But you can, like, spread some butter on it. It's good for that. Uh. Where's Primal Edge Health? They haven't posted in a long time. I don't know. Are they doing Steam It? He's, he, we're getting his cookbook soon. I'm super excited to look through it and share it. Yeah, I notice he just goes in spurts. He's not, like, as scheduled as we are. He also has two kids. Yeah. They're very busy. Keto gummies recipe. I've been working on an electrolyte gummy for a while now. It hasn't worked out yet. What's up with the title? You gotta ha scroll back a few, like about 20 minutes. We talked about it already. Have you tried great low carb pizza crust? Is it good? We haven't tried that. We don't really get um, pre-made pizza crusts. Do you have merchandise? Yeah, we have a few t-shirts you can get. It's on Teespring. I don't think they're done with YouTube, but they are also posting on Steemit. Have you tried Briar's low carb ice cream? So Briar's low carb or not is the most disgusting ice cream. It's just freezer burn at all times. I do not it's like Briar's. So bad. So that's just our personal take. So no, we haven't tried it. No. T-shirts were expensive, dude. I think they're twenty. What are they? Twenty-four bucks. Maybe. What's your favorite crock pot meal? I made a chicken Rogan Joe's. Remember that? Yeah, that, that one is the super best one so far. Good. I think. We also did a Korean beef, though. Remember how good that was? Was that was good too. That, those are the two best. We did a cheesecake and the cheesecake. That was dope. Those three. Do you think you'll stay in Atlanta for a while? Yes, I think we're we're still having that conversation. We're renting, so you yeah, know, we're not sure where we'll be in the next six months. Where is the best place to find recipes? Uh, we, you can go on Pinterest and just search like keto stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. What's Miley doing out there? I think it's Julius. What's he doing? Matt, could you make a keto blue moon recipe for your home state? Is that like the beer? Blue moon beer? That's what it's called, right? Uh, I don't know how to brew beers. What? Ju doing. Julius ate Mega's food she made for after this. Why did you move to Atlanta? Uh, we just wanted to go somewhere where there was no winter, basically, but it turns out it gets kind of cold here for a few months, which it is right now. 
Yeah, I can't make Blue Moon beer. That that means I have to brew beer and stuff. I don't know how to do any of that. When are you going to pop the question? When should I pop the question? When we're in Hawaii. When we're in Hawaii. Favorite ways to add fat in? I would say like Bulletproof Coffee and Fat Bombs. Yeah. Bulletproof anything, really. Now every time I say something, I just have some someone lingering in the back of my mind like, no wonder you failed the bar exam. You can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel really bad. I'm just kidding. Wait, is it? are we glitchy? Yeah, I think we are a little bit because your phone's low. Uh, to maintain muscle, leave ratio, leave protein ratio between 0.69 to 0.8. It is not recommended to drop below 0.69 I think as it's 0.6. muscle loss may occur. See, like, saying anything authoritative like that is just not true because we don't have answers to things like that. Are you guys getting married? Are you guys getting married? Um, not anytime soon. Thank you about saying my hair is pretty. Coke Zero, okay? It's fine, yeah. It Coke has, is my kryptonite. It has aspartame in it. AGG said emboldened again. Because he knows we don't know what it means. Oops. Should we call it? Yeah, we got to take Julius out. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is our biggest room yet. Yeah, We're... biggest live we've ever done. We do it every Sunday. And if you guys want, you can follow us on Instagram. We do live every morning at 9 a.m. for nine minutes. And there's that could only... be a lot for some of you. Yeah, there's only uh, about 100 people on those. And we answer like pretty much every question. So check us out on there. Super intimate. Thanks, guys. See you soon.